Welcome back to Weekend Sunrise, 20 past 8. Now, not your like one of our next guests, you'll say you predicted this segment was coming. We're talking about the resurgence of psychics. The power of figures like overseas sensation John Edward has renewed interest in the medium. But while believers turn to fortune tellers for guidance and support, others remain sceptical. So is it a worthy service or just a load of rubbish? Well, this morning we have both bases covered. Simon Turnbull is the president of the Australian Psychics Association and himself a clairvoyant. And Richard Saunders is with the Australian Skeptics. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning so if I can start with you, why is this whole phenomenon of psychic reading enjoying such a resurgence? Well, the truth is, it's a it's re really a 25-year cycle. If you going, I can we can trace it back to the 18 mid 1800s when uh, spiritualism became very popular. Um, people, but it goes back thousands of years. People have always trusted their intuition, and they've always trusted certain people whose intuition perhaps is a bit more developed than the average person. So they go to that person for an intuitive appraisal. Um, of course, psychics are not God. You know, and they don't claim to be. Not professional psychics, anyway. Um, but, uh, you know, there are other abilities, such as being able to predict the future. Um, and we have a lot of testimonials. We brought some along just to show you that we get our members to, uh, to actually write down what came through the previous time they went to a psychic. But these are people who already believe... No, these are people who have paid good money for a reading. Oh, right. <laughs> and money talks and the rest walks, as you know. So, so, this, so, so, so what, what do you claim to be able to do? What are your psychic abilities? Well, I don't, uh, I don't claim. I, 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 well, I'm, well, I'm telepathic. That's one of my abilities. Um, precognition is, is one of the ones I work with every day. Um, we, do a, 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 we do something called remote viewing, which is looking, uh, looking at uh, situations beyond our five senses, what we see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. To, uh, in real time, in other words, doing it when, uh, at the moment, in real time, um, is a lot easier than doing it into the future because it seems to dilute when you start to look in the future. It's a very difficult thing to do. Okay. I can't help but notice Richard is moving uncomfortably in his <laughs> chair. <laughs> 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 it's a little bit of a <laughs> You're a non-believer, but, but do you believe, Richard, that there is a chance that there's such a thing as a psychic? Absolutely. You do? Of course. Well, I believe there is a chance. I mean, as, as I could tell people, uh, I don't run the universe. I don't know how it works. Science is finding out new things every day about the workings of the universe. Maybe there are psychics. But to this point, you've never witnessed one. Uh, personally, no, I, I haven't been convinced yet because I haven't seen uh, enough evidence to convince me. That doesn't mean the evidence won't be presented to me uh, tomorrow and, and I'll be convinced. Great, I'm all for it. I mean, I want to live in a world where psychics help police solve crimes. I want to live in a world... That already. We see that uh, happening in police forces all around the world, don't they? If, you can, if you can give me a couple of examples and talk to the police department, I'd be very interested to hear it. Well, I'm on the web. We've got to, it's, you just go on the web and just type in. Like, oh, a lot of the U.S. Uh, oh, well, I, I recommend people go to the web and type in uh, psychics helping police, and they'll find all the and names of the police say, hang on a second, she didn't come and help us. What's she talking about? That's not true. Now, you may find those stories, but the, the fact is that there is evidence of police departments being, having, having, being very happy with the results they're getting from science. I'd love, I'd love to see it, but we'll, we'll disagree on that at the moment. But where Simon and I agree totally is that we both know, unfortunately, there are shonks in the psychic industry. Now, I don't know if there are real ones or not. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that we both know that there are, there are shonks, and they do cold mm. reading. They do cold reading, and I'll give you a quick like example. Reading. This is where you appear to be psychic. Now, this isn't a psychic reading, but this is what the chunks get up to. This is some cold reading using, using something called uh, jargon blitz and the vanishing negative. All right, just imagine that I've got some tarot cards in front of me, and I'm telling you, oh, gee, I see you've got the five of swords here. Hmm, this appears in the spread at the third conjunction of this triad in a three cycle. Jargon blitz. I'm just using all the flowery words. That's fine, but when you look at somebody like John Edward, who has that very, very successful show, he's toured Australia a yep. couple of times, he doesn't speak like that. He speaks real languages, and yes. you do see people right. who really do feel like their lives have been changed. John Edwards has a television show 
which has a disclaimer at the end saying this show is for entertainment purposes. Well, that's right. But that's we do that here in Australia. But Simon, that's he's not. using inter people's that's grief that's for entertainment. No, not. That's, that's your twist on it. No, no, it's it does at the end. to be able to talk to people's dead runs. He does. It's not only playing, but he does it. He does it. He's he's the mark a little. No, why should it be? If, if you prefer not to believe that that's true, it, it may be a set of the mark for you. But do you know? A lot of people who are getting... Um, uh, value from those sessions because they're getting evidence about their, their relatives who no, are no, so they don't know no, they're they're getting evidence. They're not getting evidence. They're not getting value out of it. They believe it, whether it's true or not. They're getting some sort of emotional support. That's from true. It, but if I buy a Rolex watch and I pay $2,000 for it and I'm sold a fake, I got ripped off. And if people are going to see a psychic and all they're getting is cold reading, even though they, they're happy and they think, oh, gee, I've got a psychic reading, they're getting ripped off. That's right. They brought this to Richard. It's, uh, it's our directory, which uh, actually has legitimate psychics in it. Oh, it's from the psychics directory. How does and somebody... And Sears magazine, which has another group of, of people. And these are really good. You've got to fly with me. I brought a lot of guys you signed up. Thank you. Apart from signing up for being part of it, I don't quite know that we've thought how you know the difference between a genuine psychic no, and, and no, a doctor. No. But uh, we may have to get you back to the on that. We'd like to hear from you. you contact us as usual at the, the addresses there on the bottom of the screen. We'd love to hear perhaps your psychic experience or your sceptical experience. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's been an interesting thank debate, you. as they always are. Ahead this morning, our exclusive with Jessica Simpson and the power of music to calm a lost mind. But next, your chance to win some free petrol and Mark Riley's in on the bitter tongue of Mark Layton. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah,